guys welcome back to my channel this is mama p again today in the kitchen cooking up our yard style food and cooking with enough love so what you making today i'm making some stew beef all right okay my ingredients here are this is my beef my scallion or green onion as some people might call it my onion my tomato some clove garlic, my thyme, my carrot. Um, this is also some salt, my adobo seasoning, seasoned salt, complete seasoned black pepper, and my mushroom soy sauce. This is also the vinegar, sorry guys, the vinegar, and my lemon that I'm gonna use to wash my meat. I'm gonna prepare my meat now and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I do it. guys I wash it twice already now I'm gonna wash it once with my vinegar because I like my meat to be clean now I'm gonna put some lemon on there too Make sure you drain all the water from the meat when you wash it. So now I'm gonna prepare my seasoning to put on there. So So mom, this is one of your favorite dishes, um mm. stew beef. It's one of my dishes. I wouldn't say my favorite because I love, I just love the uh, Jamaican food <laughs> and whichever, you know, my mind tell me to cook at the time. That's what I do. Okay. So you just go, you just go with your vibes. Go you just go vibes. with if, your heart. Whatever. Yeah. I might get up one day and say, oh, I need some shoe piece today, which I'll make later mm -hmm. in another tutorial. But, you know, I just go with whatever my heart tells me. Mm-hmm. That day. And my time is already washed. I'm gonna put it in there. And this is my tomato. I like to squeeze this, the, 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 um, the seeds out of my tomato. And I can do this too. I can just cut it with my hands. Because back in the days when my mom used to cook, those people never have any cutting board. They just cut with their hands, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know. Just be careful, guy. Just don't let the knife cut you. Yeah, like I said, it's I mean, either, either you can use a cutting board or not. It's mm -hmm. up to you. I've been doing this a long time, so this is easy for me. See? All right. Now I'm going to kind of crush my arm. My, um, Green onions. My green onions. Because I like when the juice come out of my 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 onions, that's my scallions. I do the same thing with my garlic. Okay guys, now I'm gonna crush it because I want the juice to just go into the meat and marinate in there. All right, I'm using five cloves of garlic in here. And this guy, I'm gonna do it like this, but don't do it, guy, because this will cut you. The knife will cut. I've been doing this for a long time, so I'm used to doing this. 
but you got to be careful of the knife. The reason I do this, I just like to get the real juice in my meat. I'm going to sprinkle a teaspoon of my adobo seasoning, <coughs> my seasoning salt, about a teaspoon, a little complete seasoning, some black pepper, The mushroom soy sauce, guys, is one of my fave. It's really nice on your meat, but don't use too much because you don't want your meat to be too dark. I'm going to put about three tablespoons. And then I'm going to stir it. And then I'll see if I need more. Okay, let me put just a pinch of salt. Just a pinch. Make sure you rub it, guys, because you want to get that garlic in there and all those seasoning in there. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah. You're going to rub it, rub it, rub it. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more soy sauce in there, I want it a little darker. That's why like four tablespoons then. So this is like about four tablespoons. I think that will be for now. I'm still gonna go back in and rub it some more. Rub that tomato in and that onion, and that scallion. Because you want your food to taste real good. This is gonna be one of the best chew beef. All right, so that's it. My meat is all seasoned up. How, how long should it marinate I'm for? just going to leave it there for about two hours. You can also season it from the night before, but I didn't have time to do it. I'm going to cover it and leave it there for about two hours, and then I'm going to come back and start cooking. Okay, guys, I just put some oil in the pot, and I'm waiting for it to get eaten, and then I'm going to start putting my beef. In there I put a little olive oil you can use whichever oil you prefer but I put some olive oil in there yeah you can even try canola oil yeah that helps as well you don't want the oil too hot to put them in start putting them in as you're making brown stew you're making um stew beef not brown stew beef If you notice, I do not put any of the seasoning in the pot at this time. Yeah, the vegetables, not as yeah. yet. Uh, shake it all off, like shake off the vegetables and just put the meat in first. Okay, now, so, stir it around in the pot, and stir it around. I'm going to allow it to spring its own water. Once she covers the pot, it's going to um, start gaining, it's going to, the steam is going to create more water, so it's going to yeah. create its own bravery. So I'm going to cover it. I'm going to leave it there for another Maybe five ten minutes before I check it again. All right. Okay, okay guys, I'm back. Oh, all Ooh, right. Oh yes, that looks so good. That looks good, and it's getting. You see how it's bringing own water. It's bringing own water, and then so I'm still not going to put any any water on it yet. When I'm putting water, I'm gonna put some warm water or hot water that I boil, but. This looks so good already. You see how it's bringing on water? Yeah, Mom. I don't have to. So I'm going to leave this there again and I'm going to come back and check on it between five minutes. So another five because, minutes? Yeah, because it's going to take a while to cook. You see, the meat is not half cooked. This is probably going to take another hour and a half to cook altogether. But you want to, so you're going to wait another five minutes or Yeah, minutes? come back and check it to okay. see if I have to pour any hot water on there. Okay.
So let me cover it back again. Okay guys, the meat is now caramelized with its own juice. So now I'm going to pour some hot water in, in there. Why you use hot, mom? Hot water. Yeah, because it's already boiling, so I want the, the, the meat um, to be tender. Yeah, so I use the hot water. Instead of putting cold water in there, I use the same hot water. Okay. To she cook just, it. yeah, she so just pour a little, some. And I'm going to come back again and check it. I'm going to check periodically until it's cooked. All right, now, guys, I'm back again. My meat is still not cooked, so. How can they tell do you? Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, okay. I put it like that. I'm gonna pour some more water on it. When you cook your meat like this, guys, you cook it timely, slowly. Put some water in, and when it dries down, you put some more, and you pour in water. You know, several times throughout the cooking. You get your meat nice and tender, and not only does it nice and tender, it really you get it to really taste good. This is like cooking it with the love that I'm talking about. So I'm going to leave it again for another couple of minutes and then I'm going to come back again. A couple of like how long? Like another so 10, maybe 15, about 10 minutes 10, again 15? and then I'll come back. Okay. Yeah. Now it's time guys to put in my green season. I'm going to put it in there. Because the green seasoning will help tenderize the meat too. And then, you know, you want it to make that, that gravy. Let me put some more water in there. Mm. Okay, guys, I'm checking back. So I'm going to see if it's tender. Okay, so now, oh, so now that it's tender, okay, so it's about ready to finish so I'm gonna put some ketchup in there and this is to help pick up the gravy so now I'm going to put my carrot in And I leave the carrot for the last because I don't want it to be too mushy. cooked and mushy. I like when my carrots kind of crunchy and firm. Yeah, I don't like it too soft. Oh, that looks so good, and it's soft and nice. Almost ready to eat guys. So I'm gonna leave that there. I see maybe for another 10 minutes or so To give the carrot some time to cook Okay guys, I'm gonna check back to see if my meat is cooked. Oh and Oh, this is so lovely and I have gravy here and the carrots is cooked and everything Oh, this is so nice. It's going to be so delicious. So now I'm going to, going to turn my stove off. The whole process took me about an hour and a half to cook. Because you know it's beef, so you got to give it time to cook. And it's now soft and nice and tender. There you have it, guys. Mama P, yard style true beef. Oh my God. Guys, I wish you were here to eat some. It tastes so delicious. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also remember to touch that notification button. See you in the next video.